Masks in schools. Parents and students want to know what their school districts will require in the fall. Today, the CDC recommended students and staff, no matter their vaccination status, mask up. Tonight, the debate over masks at a Bucks County school board got rather intense. Alicia Roberts is live in Doylestown with the latest. Alicia. Well, here's the latest right now, Jessica, as we still don't know. No vote just yet. The meeting going on behind me as we speak into its fourth hour right now with parents addressing school officials about their concerns on sending students back to the classroom this fall. One thing that is clear, compromise won't come easy and that this debate is likely far from over. Emotions out of control. Stop it. The important stop it. Two parents shouting back and forth after one strikes the other with her sign. It happened at a rally ahead of Tuesday's Central Bucks School Board meeting on the district's current return to school plan. We are functioning at this time as if we were preparing for a pre COVID school year. A key point of contention should students who are not vaccinated be required to wear masks? Well, what is going to happen is school is going to be normal. Nobody will be wearing masks. Masks are over. I would like the children to be safe in school, so if they are uh, not of age to be vaccinated, please have all the children masked. Students, too, weighing in, including this rising junior who lives with her grandparents and wants the school board to require masks as new cases of the Delta variant are recorded. It's definitely been really difficult being online, being away from my friends has taken a toll on my mental health, but if that means I get to keep my grandparents, then it's worth it. One group on the front line since the pandemic started, the support staff. Today I feel that our community is divided and when we should be coming together to support our kids. And while this vote will likely leave many frustrated, some suggest this decision will not, nor should be, final. Tonight you're not voting on a permanent plan, but a fluid measure based on the best science and data we currently have available. And while we are still waiting for a vote, we have learned that health and safety plan will be a standing agenda item at every upcoming board meeting in through the start of the school year. Also, mandate or not, parents will have the choice to send their students to class with a mask on. The first day of school is scheduled for August 30th here in Central Box. Reporting live in Doylestown, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Alicia, thank you.